back with us and um, a familiar face too, not just you. Yeah, yeah not just <laughs> yours. Yeah. Uh, but no, this was a really special interview. Hope you guys like this series all this week. Uh, you know her from Good Morning America, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. She's a physician, a mom, a nutritionist, and ABC's chief medical correspondent. Recently, she came to Dallas and sat down with me to talk about an array of health topics that are facing you. So all this week, I'm sharing parts of our conversation, starting off with really her premier passion, women's health more women, younger women, are being diagnosed with heart disease. Yep. And, and I feel like this is a conversation that keeps coming up. And uh, I don't know, are people and not getting the message? Or? I think that it's not only are people not getting the message, but doctors, healthcare providers are also not getting the message enough or as quickly as we would like them to. Across the board, whether it's in the hospital, in the research lab, in the media, in our homes, we need to start looking at women and thinking about women differently. It's gender specific medicine and that approach has to start happening. Um, and, and on every level, really, no one is, no one is really doing it well enough to save lives right now. So we have to put ourselves first, but that doesn't help if when you, we walk into the hospital saying, I don't feel well, I think I'm having a heart attack, people say, oh no, no, it's just anxiety. <laughs> You'll be fine. You yeah. know, that, so then the, the woman is putting herself first, but the healthcare system isn't. And so we all need to get on the same page with that. So who do we look to to be a champion for us? You know, that's a good question. People in the media like you, um, people in medicine and the media hopefully like myself. It's why I feel so blessed to have the career that I have. It's the same goal, which is improving women's health. It's why we're here talking. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that it's, it's okay to say we have to take the reins ourselves, but we can't do it alone. Um, you know, so it has to be a combined community effort, a societal effort. I do think that we have to judge our society on some level in the way we take care of women. And the way we're taking care of women's health in the United States, in my opinion, has a lot of room to improve. And so just going back to that piece about heart disease, remember when it comes to heart disease, 80% 80 80 of cases are preventable with lifestyle modifications. And, uh, you know, she said, know the simple seven, your weight, your blood pressure, fasting glucose, the LDL, that lousy cholesterol, and also be active, focus on clean eating and stop smoking. Mm. Mm, that's a biggie. Have I said that? So she and I have a lot to talk about, and we're going to bring bringing you pieces of our conversation all week long. You know, she's right though about it taking sort of this village uh, for women because uh, I did this piece not long ago on women and heart attacks. Yes. And so many women put off, you know, like I'll go to the doctor eventually, even when they're feeling bad, they're showing some symptoms or whatever. And the woman that we featured in the piece, she lived thanks to the fact that her friend was like, "No, you're going to the hospital mm, yeah. right now." Sometimes it takes somebody else to push you. Mm -hmm. I look forward to hearing. More from her this week. Yeah. Mm, Thank you, Sonia. Mm -hmm. Let's go over to Kyle. And Kyle, um, we were looking 